Well, fortunately, Prue didn't steal the boat. That's only Prue's imagination, so we don't have to worry about that. What we were actually doing was a bit of our young master um, practice that we're working up towards. We were winding or possibly winding the boat. We've never quite figured out the correct pronunciation. And basically we were turning the boat 180 degrees using lines only. Now we've moved boats along pontoons using lines. We've moved boats from one finger to another using lines, but we've never turned one 180 degrees. So what we did was we spoke to a local yacht master and he showed us the correct way to do it. He then made me put the boat back as it had been and then made Gaynor turn the boat. So I did one turn, she did another. Uh, the principal reason for the turn, apart from some yacht master training, was that the sun wasn't on the cockpit in the afternoon so we couldn't lounge like two lizards soaking up the rays because the boat was facing the wrong direction. Um, but the secondary reason for moving it was a bit of yacht master practice. So we've done that. Now what we're going to show you in the video is how we moved the boat, how we attached the lines, where we put them and what we did. So let's go through that now and you can see how we did it. The lines we use to turn the boat are these. These are our spring lines normally. They are 20 metre lines and you can see that we've currently got one of them in use. And um, being 20 metres long that's roughly about twice the length of Salty Lass so that gives us plenty of length to work with. Okay, so the line I'm putting on first is the line which is furthest away from the pontoon but is closest to the pivot point which is another pontoon in our case. Um, so let's do that now. There. Can I make a nice throw in coil and get it on camera? <laughs> we can always attempt, but you're here to catch. Oh, John's will catch it over there. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it goes in the water. Okay. Just nice Ready? throw, nice throw and coil straight at me. Go. Got it. Hey! So, um, this is um, the other side of your boat. And again, you'll notice that I'm on the side away from the pontoon, which is going to be where we're actually going to be controlling the boat from. So both ropes are on the cleats away from the pontoon which you're controlling the boat on. Because when we finish, this side of the boat will be against the pontoon. That is correct, yes. Okay, so we're going to be manoeuvring the boat and we want to be going from here into the alley. So we turn the rudder to help, which is this way and you put it on full lock. Well, full deflection. Full deflection, so that the rudder is helping you with the manoeuvre. So now I'm on the controlling side and the rope goes in front of the uh, boat or if it's at the back, it'll be going around the stern and we'll be pushing it this way um, and at the end of the manoeuvre, that rope will be on the correct side, as in closest to the pontoon. We were helped by John Patrick, a local sailor who has done yacht master training. John demonstrated a turn of the boat to us, which left the boat the way we wanted it, but neither Gaynor nor myself had actually done it. So I got to practice putting it back the wrong way round and then Gaynor got to practice by putting it back the right way round. That way we both got some practice. Trick is to keep the boat moving. Its own momentum will keep it turning but once the boat is moving do nothing to interfere with it or break its momentum or else you wind up with the boat stopped dead in the middle of the alleyway. So then, Gaynor, um, I believe you have constructed a high technology computer representation of what it is we're doing with the boat. Is that correct? No. Well, what have you done then? As a brownie leader, I've used paper and string. Come on. This is me you're talking about. Anyway, I will show you our highly complex model. 
<laughs> so where we are, we've got a uh, little finger pontoon and um, we've tied a rope uh, on the finger pontoon and that is our pivot point. And this is our long line, which is our control line. And as you can see, the it's uh, wrapped on the cleat the, away from the main pontoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this boat forward. And it's keeping it off the pontoon, obviously. Now, when I move it this way, I've got to really push it. Because what will happen is the rope... the boat will go that way and because I've pushed it um, it will then start because of the way the rudder is it will then start drifting in now we were quite fortunate in that the wind was coming this way so the wind was pushing us down back onto the pontoon and I'm taking that back line back we let the uh, wind push um, the boat towards the pontoon and then Beverly secured the um, boat to the pontoon as soon as we could so that we could put her and bring her forward and into the slip, like so. So really your pivot line has to be fairly tight-ish. You don't want too much slack in that line. Yeah, the uh, pivot line, um, it, um, it's the one that you're pivoting round. Um, and you want to make sure that, because um, we've got boats over here, um, you want it to make sure that the, when, when it's fully extended, no part of the, other, the boat will actually hit any other um, vessel in the area. So you've just got to make sure that that happens. On the very first one, um, and you actually want to let it run, um, now, I kept it out of the water, but the very first time I actually um, uh, touched it just a little bit and I actually broke um, the swing. You actually want the momentum of the boat to go out and then it will come back nicely. Uh, whereas once you've broken it, it's much harder to uh, get the boat swinging the way you want.
Okay, so we have swung the boat. It's all in. It's been a day or two. Um, what did you learn that you didn't know previously? Um, it was all about momentum and inertia. It was amazingly easy to um, get the boat moving. Much easier than I thought. But also, um, because we had the wind pushing the boat towards the pontoon... Uh, just how useful and to, uh, you know, how the wind will take the boat. How much wind was there? Um, three knots of wind. So it was quite a light day, but it was sufficient to um, bring the boat uh, back to the pontoon without us having to do anything much. So light wind day task, um, not the sort of thing you want in four six. No, no, no. You would never um, do this in a... In a force get in a in a high winds. Um, also, um, the guy who was um, teaching us, he says it's all about the planning, because uh, we had a pivot point, but he said that he's um, had just a pontoon and he can um, pivot the boat. You know, if you were on a pontoon, um, it's not really a pontoon. What's a sort of like a hammerhead? Yeah. yeah. If you're on a hammerhead, you can still um, pivot the boat, but you need to be using tide or wind to help you assist um, the t turning of the boat, really. Mm. All right, so it was easier than you thought? Much, much easier than I thought. I thought it was going to be quite complicated. How were your nerves? I was very nervous. <laughs> I mean, say yeah. nobody was on the boat. Like the last time we have we have moved um, uh, salty last before, um, but um, yeah, but we did it. It's another little task. Mm -hmm.